This story is new at 11. Now, a mother and daughter sued by their former church in Beaverton. The pastor wants $500,000. The reason? They gave the church bad reviews online. K2's Anita Kase is live there tonight. Anita, this is a First Amendment showdown, freedom of religion and freedom of speech. Yeah, the family left this church a couple of years ago. We talked to the mom who says after that, the church really shunned them, she says, and they couldn't understand why. So she filled out a Dex and Google review and started a blog. And now she's being sued for defamation. When Julie Ann Smith got frustrated, she got online. I thought, I'm just going to post a review. We do it with restaurants and hotels and whatnot. And I thought, why not do it with this church? Never did she think Beaverton Grace Bible Church and Pastor Charles O'Neill would slap her with a $500,000 lawsuit. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I teach my kids at home. Um, and, you know, this, this is just not the amount of money that normal moms have. When the Smiths left the church, Julianne says friends were told to end all contact. But if I went to Costco or, you know, any place in town, if I ran into somebody, they would turn their turn their heads and walk the other way. All that we did was ask questions. We just raised concerns. There's no sin in that. Dissatisfied, she went online to write reviews. Reviews other church members tried to counteract with church praise. So Julianne started this blog. But her words, creepy, cult, control tactics, and spiritual abuse, the pastor claims in this lawsuit, are defamation. You know, what somebody does in their church is one thing, but when you get out into society, we, we have the right to free speech. And it may not be what people want to hear, but we absolutely have that right. The lawsuit didn't stop with Julianne. Her daughter and three other commenters sued too. You know, he can say what he wants in the church and say, don't talk about this or don't talk about that or don't talk to this person. But when, you, when you're out in the civil world, you don't do that anymore. And he's not my pastor anymore, and he does not have that right to keep people from talking. The Smiths filed their own special free speech motion to try to dismiss this. They'll be in court later on this month. Now, we did come to the church. We called the church. We went over to the pastor's house, spoke to his wife and his attorney. But as you see, they did not want to give us their side of the story. Live in Beaverton, Anita Kase, K2 News. It'll be interesting to follow this one, Anita. Thank you.